This is a quick video on program six. I noticed that many of you have not started it, which is not good. So let's take a look at what's involved. Um, <clears throat> the assignment says, we're going to build two things, a class called Carlock class, part A. Part B, we're going to build a main program. Let's focus on part A. Now notice that you have many of the same components as you, we've been using throughout. So let's take a quicker look at what these components are for this assignment. And what we see is that this is new and this is new. These are the new components. The car lot class uses the automobile class. What does that mean? It really means that Whatever Carlot has to do, it, it will typically make use of the functions that are provided in the automobile class. We're going to see that Carlot class is, is a, an object, as a class that contains within it an array. So let's take a quick look at what the .h file looks like. So let's skip down to the public private part and you see that inside of a car lot class is an array of automobile class um, um, objects. Notice that in the previous assignment this array was found in your main program. Now it exists within the single inventory object that the main program will have. And the um, attributes of this class include the cars, a counter for the number of cars, and a special string that says what the name of the dealership is. In the past, the dealership name has really been called inventory. For this assignment, you can change it to something else. Now let's take a quick look at the functions. Okay. And the functions are fairly straightforward, the sets and the gets. Load the inventory means load each car. Uh, we know how to do that because in, uh, uh, the automobile class knows how to load itself. So let's look at the, the functions that may be of interest to you, that may be new. Okay. Um, notice that we have uh, this function called get car. What does it return? It returns an automobile class object. So, inside of the car lot class, what do you have? You have an array of these automo cl automobile class objects. And this function says, give me a serial number. Recall that a serial number starts at 1. So, if I pass it a 5, I need to get from the array sub 4. So, the serial number minus 1 is the subscript that you use, and you simply return inventory sub serial number minus one. That's all you do. What does add car do? It adds a car to the inventory, which suggests that if the inventory uh, is an array, you just add a new element to the array, add a new value to the array. And we make that addition at the bottom of the array, where it's simple to do. Function update car um, simply means you pick out a car and you replace the car in the array with the car that you're being passed. You just overwrite it. Okay. Um, now, the interesting functions in this whole assignment happen to be these pick. So let's take a look and see uh, the specification. The goal is to return all the car lot um, return all the cars that match a certain color and sold status. Remember in the um, automobile data type, there is a field called sold. So I can pick out blue cars that have not been sold, that is sold, the second parameter being false. Or I can pick out all the blue cars that have been sold, uh, where the sold status is true. But what data type am I returning? Well, 
What we're looking at is the class called Carlot class. And this says I'm going to return something of the same type. All right. So what does this mean? It means that I'm going to go through the array and pick out each car that meets the criteria. I'm going to build another object of this same type that contains only the cars that match this criteria. Why don't we skip down to, to, to this one? This is a little easier to explain, okay? And let's do a quick example to, to illustrate what's involved. So here's an example. If I want to pick all the cars, all the items here that match four, I will see that this one should come and this one should come. So the purpose of the function is to go through this array, pick out all the ones that match four, copy them into the new object, and return that object. So let's take a look. Let's walk through this. So if we walk through this, we're going to say, this is not a four, this is a four. So when I find a four, what should I do? I should get the second item and add it to the answer, the result, which I will call pick four. Notice that pick four is the same data type as the inventory. They're both uh, Carlot class objects. So I will add this here and I'm done. Notice that when I declare these objects, they're initialized to a size of zero. So when I add this, I'm going to put this in. Now, let me skip back over here and remind you that there are some functions in here for adding a car. So if pick four is a car lot class object, then there is a member function called add car. So I can take the car that I get here and say pick four dot add car and pass that car. So that's how the car gets added. Okay. Now, there we go. And now we resume walking through this thing. We've gotten this far and now we say this is a no, this is a no, this is a yes. What do I do? I add the car to pick four. When I add the car, the size of pick four goes up to two and when i'm all done i will say return let's go back to my pick where's pick i'm returning a car lot class object pick four is a car lot class object inventory is a car lot class object so i can return pick four as i promised here now i know this sounds a little confusing but you've been doing this the whole time Suppose I have an integer function called sum. What do I do? I promise to return you something of type int. Is that true? I'm given some data that, that I work on to, to find the answer. But inside, what do I do? I say I need to declare myself an answer variable. Data type int. Call it answer. Set it to zero. And this is a local variable. Then I calculate the answer. Once I calculate the answer, I turn around and return the answer. Okay? That's exactly what you're doing up here. In this simple example, the data type just happens to be an int. But from the function that you're going to write, the data type is going to be Carlot class. The idea is totally the same. It's nothing you've never done before. Then we're going to stop right here. And we'll do another video talking about all the other things that you must get done.